there it comes. Let me get back into focus here. That's the uh, train I just drove. Excuse the uh, prescription safety glasses, but you know, in the business, in this business. Very cool, very cool. I am downtown Oklahoma City at the Oklahoma City Railway Museum. And uh, I just got to drive a little, I guess it's a very little Mazda Miata equivalent little locomotive. Uh, the guy said it was 45, 45 tons. And one of the bigger ones out there is like 600 tons. So... Yeah, where is it? It's coming. I was on that and driving. Uh, but the experience is such that you're very hands-on, so I didn't really have time to take the phone out of my pocket, and I don't have the GoPro set up yet, so it wasn't as good a footage as it could have been. I did take plenty of pictures, and there it is, backing into its spot. Um, yeah, about here on the track is where the guy assigns you the job of taking control of the brakes and lining it up with a little step stool that's on the ground you know literally just a step stool and they say line it up with the step stool and I was able to do that and I was so proud the guy's like wow you're the first one that's done it in a while uh, apparently well, it is tricky. It's got air brakes or pressure steam steam brakes, and uh, so the thing about air brakes in a truck or perhaps steam brakes—they're very similar. I don't know—is uh, there's a delay. So from the moment you press the brake on like a tractor trailer, there's a couple second delay. All that air has to travel and apply the brakes. It's not like a car. But that's a whole different speech entirely. So, I'd apply the brakes, release, apply, and, and find that sweet spot. Because they're either on or they're off. And then if you're, there's not really so much of a gray area. It's not like a car. But, uh, very, very cool experience. Here is the 615 International Spark Arrester. Far... HP5 Danger 600 volts. I am assuming this is an electric train. Maybe it's like a gas engine that powers a generator that powers electric motors on the wheels. I think that's how the new ones are now. Let's see. There she is down there. Go down the line go down about a mile or two very very cool stuff zoom back out here of course if I don't bust myself up in the process I will uh, I'll show you this blue one it's very similar that way I don't have to bother these nice people again now the guy showed me on the other one that I drove, it had, has what's called a turbo generator, which I can only figure has steam going through something similar to a turbo, spins the shaft, the shaft spins the electric motor or power supply, I think this is about where it was mounted on the other one. and. Uh, that applied that gives you your electric very very cool stuff the coal burns and the fire boils the water the water turns into steam and the steam goes in and out of these cylinders and makes your piston go back and forth that's the shaft that's attached to the piston inside the cylinder. And I don't know if that's a secondary cylinder. Uh, I don't, this is in the, my gray area. And there's your, I guess, what would be your connecting rod. 
a big long one and then this would be I don't know that might be like a drag length to drag your other wheels along with it I'm kind of making up part names here oh the labels gone but yeah it was really hot <laughs> in the driver's seat because this is your boiler right here this is the end of the boiler you got all them rivets or whatever that is that's where the coal goes and they have a little chute on this one for the coal I guess is that a hopper I think so I couldn't hold it high enough to see it but uh, here's another old train car Chicago Northwestern Oklahoma Railway Museum ORM and it looks like they got a little crane here for construction work very very cool stuff maintenance cart I could have some fun in one of them get it up to 88 miles per hour huh crank I wonder is that gas powered it's got to be forward neutral reverse low high pressure choke throttle starter yeah there we go I guess it's like a little the kind of the equivalent of a golf cart very very cool stuff I'm sorry I know I'm not very exciting to listen to but uh, this is just me documenting a cool experience for me and if anybody else is interested then they can continue watching okay rx 301 ge 45 ton locomotive so this is roughly the same weight as the other one built in 1941 by general electric for the u.s army road number 1202 rebuilt 9 of 82 date acquired 2000 by donation of ORM member Dan something and Vulcan Chemical previous owners Dodge City Ford so I don't know what fuel 75 plus 75 is maybe 275 gallon tanks maybe that's them that would make sense Take a walk around this other one. I don't know if you're supposed to or not, but there's another one behind this. That is very cool as well. Six forty-three. The smell here is unlike anything else. It's a mixture of diesel fuel and Kind of like a shop with the grease and the oils mix that all in with the uh, railroad ties that smell like uh, freshly laid black, uh, seal coat on a driveway I'm sure similar chemicals are used that they smell that similar The cattle catcher or cattle pusher or whatever the hell it's called. I feel sorry for any cow that gets hit by this thing. It's absolutely amazing that this stuff is all still functional and considering how old it is. how much it, it can do you know these weigh so much so they can pull a lot of weight and they get that traction on that itty bitty railroad tie oh, there they go there goes the next person
there's no information plaque on this but oh you can't see in there I don't know I just find all this stuff really fascinating I think this is a coal cart oh, keep off Rock Island let's see here Pretty cool. Got a couple desks and tables down there. I guess this was uh, considered luxurious back in the day. And this car we have to enter from the other end, per the request on the door. Can't climb up into that one. That would be super cool. Open subject to it. Oh, boo. Okay. fuel tank it says uh, 4,000 4,500 gallon capacity okay well I'm gonna end the movie here I think there might be a little more to look at, but we'll see if there isn't or if there is. Okay, we will catch you all later.